Hey everyone, welcome to Sartek Programming. So today we will be seeing the fifth question of this series in which I will be covering previous year TCS, NQT and uh, Ninja coding questions. So this is the fifth video of this playlist. If you haven't checked the first four video, do check them out. Now let's read the question. Given a string S of asterisks and hashtags, the length of the string is variable. The task is to find the minimum number of asterisks or hashtag to make it a valid string. The string is considered valid if the number of asterisks and hashtags are equal. The asterisks and hashes can be at any position in the string. Okay. Uh, the output will be a positive or negative integer based on number of asterisks and hashtags in the input string. Uh, so uh, we will be given a string as an input and it will consist of asterisks and hashtags. Uh, and we uh, and string is considered valid if the number of asterisks and hashtag are equal. But uh, uh, if the if they their count is not equal, that is if asterisks are more than hashtag or hashtags are more than asterisks, we need to tell how many asterisks are more than hashtag or how many hashtags are more than asterisks. So if the number of asterisks is more than hashtag, uh, we will print an, print an positive integer which will tell how many asterisks are more than hashtag. If the hashtags are more than asterisk, we will print a negative integer which will tell how many hashtags are more than asterisk. And if both of both if their number is equal then we will print zero okay so uh, we can see an example here we have four hashtags and two asterisks so we have two hashtags more than asterisks four minus two like four hashtags and two asterisks four minus two is two but if the number of hashtag is more we need to print a negative integer so we will print minus two okay and let's see the second input uh, so in in this case we have three asterisks and two hashtags uh, so three minus two is one and since we have to print positive integer in case if asterisks are more we will just print one uh, if uh, uh, now in the third case we can consider that if uh, both the hashtags and asterisks are equal like both of them are two 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 hash hashtag and two asterisks then we'll print zero okay so that's the question uh, so now before going to the solution you can try this question on your own think of a logic and uh, if you could do it then it's well and good uh, even if, we, if if you can't do it then watch my solution even if you did it watch my solution to see a different logic or may, it, it may be a different logic other than yours okay so let's see the solution now uh, okay so f uh, in the first line we will take a string as an input and we will declare a uh, we will initialize a variable count uh, equals to zero. So this will be our initial count. Uh, okay. So now then we will traverse uh, through the input string, and we will check if uh, the character is an asterisk. If it is asterisk, we will increment the count by one, and if it is an hashtag, we will decrement the count by one, and then we will print the count. Okay. So uh, now I will run it and then walk you through the solution again. Uh, so so now we can clearly see that asterisks are more than hashtags. So the output should be two, right? Let's see if it is the case. Uh, output should be plus two, and it is. So I will tell you how it happened. Uh, so we have asterisk hash asterisk hash and asterisk asterisk okay so in the first uh, so the uh, we took this string as an input uh, with the help of first line and then we initialized count variable to zero so initially the value of count is zero okay then uh, we will start traversing uh, the first iteration uh, when the value of i is 0 we will check the character at 0th position that is this so this is an asterisk okay so since this is an asterisk uh, this is the condition since this is an asterisk we will increment the count by 1 so now our count will be 1 then uh, in the second iteration we will see the character at this first position that is uh, f f i uh, first position and since it's an hashtag 
uh, we will decrement the count by one. So now our count will again change to one minus one, that is zero. Okay. Then in the third iteration, we will see if this is an asterisk or hashtag. This is an asterisk, so we will increment the count uh, count again by one. Then uh, uh, in the fourth iteration, we will see this is an hashtag again, so we will decrement the count by one again, so it's zero. Then it's an asterisk again, so we will increment the count by one. And then it's an asterisk again, so we will increment the count by one again. So that is it. So this is how the uh, uh, the solution works. Uh, we we can try it for different cases. So li like. Okay, I need to delete this, otherwise it won't run. Okay, so this is printing zero since the number of asterisks and hashtags are zero. Uh, then uh, we, uh, the case where hashtags are more. So if we have ha more hashtags. So we we have five hashtags and let's say one asterisk, then it should be minus four, and so the our code is working perfectly fine. Uh, now let's see the intuition. Okay, so what happens is every time we see an asterisk, we increment the count, and every time we see hashtag, we decrement the count. So we will. So if the asterisks are more, we will get a positive integer always. Because we are incrementing the count, so like if we see an asterisk and asterisk asterisk, so our count will be three, and then we see an hashtag, our count will get back to two. So our output will be positive integer two, right? So that's how it works. Uh, there can be multiple solutions, but this is uh, most optimal and most readable. Uh, you can check this solution uh, through description section. I will be attaching the link. Uh, thank you for watching.